Hello, this is Subscription Drop 3 of Thinking Particles. In this video, we will discuss our latest additions to the ISO Surface Operator. What we have here in the scene is 39 particles all placed on the same plane. Those particles have been created with the standard particle draw operator. So there's nothing fancy going on here. Now let's activate the surface. That is done with our standard algorithm right now with the blob surface algorithm. This algorithm was introduced in Thinking Particle 6.0. The main issue with this algorithm is that it always creates blobby surfaces. When you look from above, or it's even better to see from the side, you will notice that you can never create a flat surface. It's always rounded, you have these little bumpy hills there. And regardless how you set up this algorithm, you always end up with these bumpy surfaces. And that's how the algorithm works. And to really get rid of these bumpy surface, you would need huge scales, and then you end up with one big fat blob. This is why we created the surface 6.3. Have a look here. It's amazing. It creates a flat surface. You see that, especially when you look from the side. The surface, the top surface of these few particles. It's really amazing how flat this surface is. Also, the controls are really good. And all these 39 particles there are on the same plane. And it really represents, in the best way, the surface. Let's go back to the blob algorithm, just as a comparison. There is no way you can create this kind of surface. Here you see it's missing particles right now. It is not able to catch the surface that is drawn with these 39 particles. And it's only 39 particles. So your only chance is increase the scale and then you end up with huge blobby surfaces. And here you can also see a lot of missing space in the center. Our algorithm, however, is able to actually reproduce the surface that is intended by these 39 particles. And you can see it's really nice. And with just adjusting a few parameters, you end up with a nice flat surface. And that's really important when you want to create a water surface. The deformation of the water surface should come from the particle positions and not from your surfacing algorithm. And this is what we have achieved with this new algorithm right now. I hope you enjoyed this video. Check out our other new videos about Subscription Drop 3 and check out our webpage as well at www.sebus.com.